Mastering email lists. Boost your blog's success. Hey everyone, it's your boy Neil, here to talk to you about something super important for taking your blog to the next level, building an email list. You might be thinking, Neil, email? Isn't that a little old school? Trust me guys, email is far from dead. In fact, it's one of the most powerful tools in your arsenal for building a loyal audience and ultimately growing your business. Why? Because with an email list, you own your audience. You're not at the mercy of social media algorithms or search engine updates. You have a direct line of communication with your people, and that's incredibly valuable. So if you're ready to turn those casual readers into diehard fans, you're in the right place. Stick around and I'll break down everything you need to know about building a high converting email list that will take your blog to new heights. Let's get started. All right, let's dive right into why building an email list is non-negotiable for bloggers. It's one of the most powerful tools you can have in your arsenal. First and foremost, it gives you a direct line of communication with your audience. Unlike social media, where your posts can get lost in the feed, emails land directly in their inbox. Think about it. You don't own your followers on social media. Your account could be suspended or the platform could change its rules. Algorithms change, platforms evolve, and your reach can be limited. This unpredictability can be a huge risk for your blog's growth. But with email, you're in the driver's seat. You're sending your message straight to their inbox, where they're more likely to see it and engage with it. It's a more personal and direct way to connect. Plus, email subscribers are generally more engaged than your average social media follower. They are more likely to read your content and take action. They've actively chosen to receive your content, which means they're already interested in what you have to say. This pre-existing interest is invaluable. This leads to higher engagement rates, more clicks to your blog posts, and ultimately more conversions. Your email list can become your most loyal audience. Whether you're selling products, services, or just trying to grow your brand, an engaged email list is a goldmine. It's a direct channel to your most dedicated followers. And here's a pro tip focus on building a quality email list, not just a big one. Quality subscribers are more likely to convert and engage with your content. It's better to have 1,000 highly engaged subscribers who love your content than 10,000 uninterested ones. Engagement is key. Quality over quantity, my friends. Always aim for a list that truly values your content. So how do you actually build this awesome email list? Well, that brings us to our next point. Stay tuned to learn the best strategies. Now, before you start collecting email addresses, you need a place to store them and manage your email campaigns. That's where email marketing platforms come in. There are tons of great options out there each with its own strengths and pricing plans. Some of the most popular ones I recommend include ConvertKit, MailChimp, Aweber and SendinBlue. Personally, I'm a big fan of ConvertKit for its simplicity and automation features, but the best platform for you will depend on your specific needs and budget. Once you've chosen your platform, you'll need to create an account and set up your first email list. This is usually a pretty straightforward process, and most platforms offer helpful tutorials and support documentation. Next, you'll want to create your first sign-up form. This is the form that people will fill out to subscribe to your list. Keep it simple and easy to use, asking only for the essential information like their name and email address. You can then embed this form on your blog or create a dedicated landing page for it. Don't be afraid to experiment with different placements and designs to see what converts best for your audience. All right. Now that you have your email marketing platform and sign up form ready to go, let's talk about how to actually convince people to hand over their precious email addresses. Because let's be real, nobody signs up for another newsletter just for the fun of it. You need to give them a compelling reason to subscribe and that's where lead magnets come in. A lead magnet is essentially a valuable piece of content that you offer for free in exchange for someone's email address. It could be anything from an ebook or checklist to a template, exclusive content library, or even an email course. The key is to make sure it's something your target audience actually wants and will find valuable. For example, if you have a food blog, you could offer a free recipe ebook with your most popular recipes. Or if you're a business coach, you could offer a free checklist on how to start a successful online business. Pro tip, make sure your lead magnet is highly relevant to your niche and solves a specific problem your audience has. The more targeted and valuable your lead magnet is, the more sign-ups you'll get. Chapter 4. Strategically place sign-up forms on your blog. 
Now that you have an awesome lead magnet, it's time to put it in front of your audience. And where do your readers hang out? On your blog, of course. Your blog is the central hub where your audience engages with your content. But don't just slap your sign-up form anywhere and hope for the best. Random placement can lead to missed opportunities. You need to be strategic about placement to maximize your conversions. Thoughtful positioning can significantly boost your sign-up rates. First and foremost, make sure your sign-up form is visible above the fold on your homepage. That means visitors should be able to see it without having to scroll down. This immediate visibility can capture attention right away. Another great place to put your sign-up form is in your blog post sidebar. This ensures consistent visibility. This is a prime location because it's visible on every page of your blog and doesn't interrupt the flow of your content. It's a subtle yet effective way to encourage sign-ups. You can also embed sign-up forms within your blog posts themselves, especially at the end of a post where you've provided uh, valuable content. This is when readers are most engaged and likely to take action, and readers are more likely to be engaged. They've just consumed your content and are primed for the next step. And don't forget about exit intent pop-ups. These can be a game-changer. These are pop-ups that appear when someone is about to leave your site, giving you one last chance to capture their email address giving you one last chance to capture their email address. This can be particularly effective for retaining potential leads. Pro tip A, B, test different placements and designs to see what works best for your audience. Testing helps you understand what resonates most with your readers. Chapter five, offer value in your emails, building trust and engagement. Congratulations, you've got people signing up for your email list. Now the real work begins keeping them engaged and coming back for more. Remember, the key to a successful email list is to provide value with every single email you send. Start with a killer. Welcome email that sets the tone for your relationship with your new subscribers. Thank them for signing up, introduce yourself and your blog and deliver on the promise of your lead magnet. From there, you can send a variety of content to your subscribers such as content, roundups with your latest blog posts, Exclusive content that's not available on your blog behind the scenes peeks into your life or business and even surveys to get to know your audience better. The key is to be consistent with your email frequency and always deliver high quality content that your subscribers will find valuable. Don't just spam them with promotional emails all the time. Remember, the goal is to build trust and relationships with your subscribers and that takes time and effort. Chapter six. Segment your email list for more personalized content. As your email list grows, you'll want to start segmenting your subscribers into different groups based on their interests, engagement level, and lead magnet type. This allows you to send more personalized and relevant content to each subscriber, which leads to higher engagement rates and conversions. For example, let's say you have a blog about digital marketing. You could segment your list into different groups, such as SEO enthusiasts, social media managers, and email marketing beginners. Then you can send each group targeted content that's most relevant to their interests. Instead of sending a generic email blast to your entire list about a new blog post on SEO, you could send a targeted email to your SEO enthusiast segment. Segmentation might sound complicated, but most email marketing platforms offer built-in segmentation features that make it easy to group your subscribers based on different criteria. Pro tip. Use automation features to automatically tag subscribers based on their actions, such as which lead magnet they downloaded or which links they clicked in your emails. Chapter seven, optimize your signup forms for conversions. Finally, let's talk about how to optimize your signup forms to get even more subscribers. This is a crucial step in your digital marketing strategy because even small changes to your forms can make a big difference in your conversion rates. It's all about making the process as seamless and inviting as possible. First and foremost, keep your form simple and easy to use. A cluttered form can be a major turnoff for potential subscribers. People are more likely to sign up if they don't have to fill out a ton of information. The less effort it takes, the better. Stick to asking for their name and email address and maybe one or two other relevant fields. This keeps the form short and sweet. Use clear and concise calls to action that tell people exactly what to do. Your CTA should be direct and compelling. Instead of using a generic CTA like Submit, try something more action-oriented like Get My Free eBook or Join Our Community. This makes the action more appealing. Clearly showcase the benefits of signing up for your email list. Make it obvious why they should give you their email.
What will subscribers get in return for their email address? Highlight the value they will receive. Will they get access to exclusive content, special discounts, or early bird notifications? Make these benefits clear and enticing. And just like with everything else in digital marketing, A-B test different elements of your sign-up forms to see what resonates best with your audience. Testing is key to optimization. Test different headlines, CTAs, form designs, and even lead magnets to find the winning combination. This will help you understand what works best. Pro tip, add social proof to your sign-up forms, such as the number of subscribers you have, or testimonials from happy subscribers. This builds trust and credibility. Outrow, level up your blog with email marketing. There you have it, folks. That's how you build an email list that will transform your blog from a casual hobby into a thriving community. Remember, building an email list is a marathon, not a sprint. It takes time and effort to build a loyal audience, but the rewards are well worth it. So start implementing these strategies today and watch your email list and your blog grow. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more actionable marketing tips, and let me know in the comments which strategy you're most excited to try first. Until next time, keep hustling, and I'll see you in the next video.